one of the problems we often see is um, people keep going back into kitchens, and I've done this as a pesty, is we go back in and we've got a problem constantly with German cockroaches in the one kitchen. And I'll go on a commercial application here because it could be a, um, a large scale commercial kitchen in a motel, restaurant or um, RSL of the like. But you haven't got them back in the same place you were two weeks ago. So we've moved them from the chef's complaint about the bain-marie, now they're around the dishwasher. And you come back two weeks after that and they're back now around the fridge motors or the you know, deep freezer. So what we're doing is when we're spraying with a synthetic pyrethroid or a repellent is we're actually spraying an area where we think they are. We think they're going to come out, we're going to kill them. They're not. All they do is come out and get chased away because they haven't picked up enough synthetic pyrethroid because it's been cleaned up the day after we've done our treatment and they've moved to somewhere else where there isn't this sensitization by the synthetic pyrethroid. So this is where we actually push them around by using SPs. They sense that chemistry is in that area. So by the time we've done a full cycle around the kitchen, it's about eight weeks, and they've gone back to the initial bain marie and they're back in there because the synthetic pyrethroids died down completely. So then in those instances where we should be using uh, a non-repellent, but be careful. This is where guys make a lot of mistakes. They go and put now a non-repellent into that spray equipment straight away and unfortunately, the residual of that repellent is going to outweigh in that spray equipment that non-repellent activity. And they go, oh, then the non-repellent doesn't work. It's not the case. We need to clean out our equipment properly. Increasingly knowing that if we then target that non-repellent into down that crack and crevice treatment and we deliver it along with that gel, which is a non-repellent, to back it up around those crack and crevice areas so we're getting a double whammy. If they do manage to come out, they do pick up a bit more of that non-repellent but don't know they're doing it. Thank you.